they play first and foremost with the families. You could really sense the desire of the players to go and get a result. There was a lot going on that no one knew about and he wouldn't tell anyone. But he was falling apart after Hillsborough. By the time it gets to Everton and the Copman, I knew there was something building up. It was terrible to live with, really horrible. And for the children, he was snappy, so I would manage to keep them out of the way. When you don't tear off. He wasn't sleeping, he was taking sleeping pills, he couldn't get to sleep at night, he had a rash all over his body. And he doesn't tell people this, you know, he waits until it all, you know, comes to a head. I was going to make a change during the game, defensively. And Ronnie and Roy went, oh, I'm not so sure, I went, oh, OK, OK. And when he realised he couldn't make a decision, he didn't feel like he was the manager Liverpool deserved. If I can't make decisions, I don't deserve to be here. And I said to myself, that they've got to go. Well, I regret to announce that Kenny Dalglish told the board yesterday of his wish to retire as team manager. I don't think it ever got easier for Kenny. I think it got worse. He would never, ever admit that Hillsborough had anything to do with anything, because that's where he is. Only Kenny can tell us what that journey was really like. What I do know is that the stress and strain of that must have been at times intolerable. In the aftermath of Hillsborough, it has taken the families two decades to set the record straight. Marina and Kenny Dalglish were real humanitarians in the face of dreadful adversity. People turning up literally on their doorstep. And that's why they are so respected in our city, they know what they sacrificed and what they gave. Today we take the unprecedented step of granting the freedom of the city posthumously to 96 individuals. Sisters Sarah Louise Hicks and Victoria Jane Hicks. Kenny had been a part of our lives before I actually met him on that day back in April 1989. Kenneth Matheson Gaglish. Kenny has been part of my journey from the beginning of losing both my daughters. Marina Dalglish. Sarah had had Kenny Dalglish albums every Christmas for years when she was little.
He's the king of Anfield, really. But I don't look at him like that. I just look at him as a dear man. We've adopted Kenny now, you know. He's not going back to Glasgow. We won't let him. <laughs> Walk on. 